Yeah, hello everyone. Good day to you all. My names are the Prophetess, Golden Goddess Osano Dazi. I'm the Honorable President, the Nigeria President, the European Union President, and also the Face World Global Telecommunication Network President. I'm also an advocate and a medical doctor practitioner in Deutschland, Germany, and the Ambassador of State for Global Continent. God bless you. So please, I want you to kindly follow me on my Facebook wall, Princess Obe, if you have not done so. And uh, my YouTube channel, the Goddess of Sanodazi Broadcast International News Network TV, C Goben TV. If you have not subscribed, please kindly do so, okay? So today, I want to kindly share a little bit of the Word of God. So wherever you are, I want you to join me as we render this prayer in peace and harmony with God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I glorify your holy name. Your word is about to be shared together today, trusting in the Lord. I have the power of my own. I have the strength of my own. I invite the Holy Spirit to dwell in me now. Everything I'm about to say, Father, may you lay your words in my mouth and in my tongue in the name of Jesus. As many that will hear this, your word today, may they be part and parcel of it in Jesus' name. In anything that each and every one is doing, that go contrary to your will. Father in heaven, may you touch his souls for repentance in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Once again, brethren, God bless you for joining me. So, I want you to hold on to your Bible, your jotter, and your pen as we teach this word together. Now, today I title my topic, Trusty in the Lord. Are you trusting in the Lord? What are you facing these days? What is your problem? Do you have any issue? As far as human being is concerned, what is your worriness? Why are you sharing tears every day? Why are you calling upon God? It seems that God is not there for you. In your heart, are you really trusting in Him? In your heart, do you really have that faith? In your heart, are you still there for him? Now I want you to ask your, I mean, I want you to, to ask yourself all these questions and you have the answer within you. You know, a lot of people today, they go to church, they do all manner of things, you know, just to please humanity. Within them, they thought that they are they are worshiping God, you know, within them they thought that they are, they are pleasing God, but no, in the sight of God, they are just pleasing themselves. In the sight of God, they are pleasing their fellow human going to the same church. In the sight of God, they are, they are pleasing their pastors, you know. And within their hearts, the word God does not exist. You know, the word believer does not exist. The word keeping faith or having faith in God does not exist. The word trusting God does not exist. All they just do carnally go to church, do a manner of things in the church, carnally come home, carnally they prayed, you know, and at the end of the day, it looks as if all they are doing is just a wasted effort. Please, my brothers and sisters, I want you to search your heart these days. Are you really a child of God? I want you to ask yourself, am I really a true child of God? Why am I doing this thing that I'm doing and I'm happy? Why? Why would I change to be a different person? Why am I facing God in, in a difficult way, you know? Why am I not trusting God? Why am I doing things in my own will without calling on God to lead me? Ask yourself all these questions. And I believe that by the grace of God, you will have the answer to yourself. Okay? So the Lord said, trust it in the Lord. He said, my child, never forget the things I have taught you. You see? He says, store my command in your heart. If you do this, you will live many years and your life will be satisfying. You see? The Lord said, my son, store my command in your heart. How many of you heed to God's instruction? How many of you even obey your parents? How many of you, you are going astray and someone tells you, please, my brother or please, my sister, what you are doing is wrong. Can you change? Can you repent? You know, how many of you heed to that advice? No. You go ahead.